Well, thinking back on your years in school, how often did you ask your teacher, when will we use this in real life? It's a worthwhile question, but the answer isn't always clear. Well, a teacher at Columbus Academy is trying to change that. As a high school math teacher, Rachel Gorsuch is determined to help things click with her students. And she does that with a concept known as math modeling. So for me, the idea of mathematical modeling is the answer to that question, when are we ever going to use math in real life? And so it's all about getting these experiences with real life things and seeing the math in it for yourself. So what does that look like? She told us about a few recent class assignments, one of which tasked her students with creating parabolic solar cookers. In Advanced Algebra 2, we were working on parabolas, and instead of just putting them in a graph and trying to find the focus and doing all the mathy things we're expected to do in the textbook, we decided that we were going to actually find the focus because it has this great property that when the light comes in, it'll hit off of the side of this and it'll bounce into a, a certain fixed point. It's a concept used for satellite dishes, flashlights, even baking. The students actually put raw chocolate chip cookies in their parabolas and tried to cook them in 20 minutes, watching as the temperature rose to 146 degrees at the center, while the air temp was just 60. Their next assignment centered around a popular sport. We went down to the soccer field and I told kids just a couple simple instructions. Kick the soccer ball, take burst photos on your iPhone, and ask mathematical questions. So they started walking around the field and they're like, wait a second, I wonder how high it's getting. I wonder how far it's going down the field. I wonder how fast it's going. And so we photoshopped all of their burst photos together and we started to analyze the mathematics behind that. Rachel's class also created their own zombie apocalypse spurred by an article she read detailing how the CDC uses the same scenario to track how fast diseases spread. That's a logistics growth model, which is a complex idea to present to students. But if you're walking around turning people into zombies, it's more intuitive. So how do the students respond? I get a lot of questions, which is great because I think you can spend tons of time just exploring student questions and once they ask a question and they get positive feedback for asking that question, they have another one and another one and another one. And they just get so excited about the math and all the things they can explore. And it creates this awesome environment that I as a teacher want to come to and the students want to come to as well. That's why Rachel has been sharing the success in her classroom with others, even partnering with inquiring minds at Ohio State. So the research that I'm doing with Ohio State, they want to see what it looks like in a classroom and they want to publish it so other schools and other teachers can start to understand how to implement lessons in their own classroom. So how can you help your own children find a true understanding of math? Rachel has some words of advice. Whether it's counting goals at a soccer game or shopping with them or just observing that there's a lot of shapes everywhere and we can look at them from any level of mathematics and be curious about them. If parents foster mathematical curiosity, their kids can do anything in math. Well, you can always learn more about Columbus Academy by heading to their website, columbusacademy.org, or call their admissions office, 614-509-2220, to schedule a visit.